Chino Vera has never looked so good as he did against Pedro Munoz. And I'm not saying it's the biggest win of his career. His biggest win is Dominic Cruz. And I only point that out because I want to just talk about the way that he fought. I want to talk about the progression. The progression of Chino is the story of Chino. And by the way, you guys hear that reception in the back? as they just threw Wahal Mohammed on stage and this crowd uh, on, on screen and this crowd just went crazy. The progression of Cheeto Vera is the story. Cheeto Vera was 4-2 at one point. The two guys that beat him aren't even in this organization anymore. I mean, just to bring that to your attention, then he goes on to become the only guy to beat Sugar Sean O'Malley and I am fully convinced the only reason Cheeto Vera was here tonight he was an unnamed backup to go in to fight for the belt. And I'll remind you that Sean O'Malley said if he, Sean O'Malley, beats Aljo tonight and Cheeto wins, that O'Malley will make sure that Cheeto is the first title defense. Now, we're, we're halfway there. And I'm well aware that that's not how fights get made. I'm aware that's not official. But I can't think of a time that a champion called for a fight and he got told no. Chino, you know the way that he performed. If I was to put it into a word, it would be calm. If you gave me another word to use, it would be controlled. But both offensively and defensively, he was very relaxed. And one thing that you're seeing with Chino Vera is a meaningful increase in his cardio output. And if a fighter can contain himself and control himself and not be scared and anxious with the moment, his cardio more than say if he added a two mile run three days a week. Truly. Being able to control your nerves. And, and I'm just watching Cheeto, you know, I'm listening to his walkout music. I'm watching him come to the ring with no shirt on. He's kind of doing a little dance on the way, kind of keeping himself loose. I mean, every bit of what I saw out of him was calm and relaxed. And I think that Sandhagen, more than anything, I think Sandhagen needs to speak up. He needs to watch this situation. I believe that Corey Sandhank was the number one contender. But things change very fast. All right, guys, on the screen, Aljo has entered the building.